everyone. We are here today to tell you about Swedish dishcloths. Uh, one of the things I love about children is that they are keenly aware of the environment and the animals and the ocean. And so my daughter really notices when a lot of waste happens with throwing away paper towels. Every time we go to a guest's house, she says, why do you use so many paper towels? Or in our own kitchen, she says, I just want to use a regular towel, not a paper towel, because I don't want to waste. When she uses the restroom, she just wants to use the air dry because she does not want to waste any paper towels. I have done that. And so Audrey's going to tell us a little bit about why we should use uh, something more environmentally friendly and try not to use paper towels. Why we shouldn't like wait over waste paper towels is because a lot of animals need uh, trees to live. And if we run out of trees, um, animals may die because they don't have a shelter and will run out of oxygen. Because trees give us oxygen. Very true. So you heard it from the expert. We need to conserve and save and not try to use paper towels. So we have found another solution that we are going to test out today to see if this might be a great replacement. They are all arrayed in Europe right now. Everyone is using them. They are called Swedish dishcloths. We ordered a few different types. If there is a difference, if they're all the same, they feel the same, the textures feel the same, but we ordered a couple different kinds just to try them out and see. And we're going to let you know and show you uh, which ones might be the best. So hold on tight. Uh, so we just wanted to kind of see if there's a difference between the three different kinds. So let's go ahead and give that a try. They feel pretty much the same. Audrey says they feel maybe slightly different. And we're just going to pour some water here on the counter and see. Hopefully I can pour it where you can still see. I don't want to make it so it goes to the box. And we want to see if it will soak up the water. So that's test number one. That's the pink one. Here's the blue one. The blue one got barely wet and it totally prevented any kind of spillage. Um, so it's just a little wet. It's a little wet on the front. But it definitely but soaked up everything. And the pink one got a little more of the water. Um, but it soaked up everything as well. So you could have definitely just used one of those dishcloths to get all of that water up. So I think that that might be a really good solution. Um, Let's try the apple cherry one. The apple cherry one. And what I also understand is that these are machine washable. You can, all three of these brands, you can wash them in the dishwasher, wash them in the washing machine, and you can reuse them. So potentially you could use them for years and just keep reusing them instead of wasting paper towels every single time. Um, all right, so you wanna try the apple one? Do it actually. Yeah, so sure enough, you can do, get it okay. all up with just one dishcloth. And let's see how the paper towel does. Uh, let's see if it's able to collect all the water. So with the paper towel, First of all, it feels like it's about to break because it's just not strong enough and I even used a double. I doubled up and folded it. And second of all, the whole towel is soaked now and it didn't get up all the moisture. It's still wet on the counter. Yes, it is. So it's not as effective as the dishcloths. So moral of the story is Swedish dishcloths save the environment, and soak up more water. They're biodegradable. You can wash them in the dishwasher or the washing machine. All right, so um, we're gonna keep um, trying them out in our kitchen, and we'll let you know if we have any updates or anything changes, but so far they're looking pretty good. 